Hello, in today's video I reveal someone's secret password and things aren't quite what they seem. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dean O'Dell and I'm a magician, a mind reader and don't forget to press that subscribe button. Uh, I ask this every week uh, because it really does make a difference. If you could do that and uh, give this video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And in today's video, um, I'm going to share with you a clip of me performing at the Curious Cabaret uh, in Nottingham last year. Uh, the Curious Cabaret is a, a sort of open mic night uh, for for not just magicians but other performers. Uh, it's a place that I enjoy performing and it's one of the places that I can't wait to get back to once we're out of lockdown. Um, so if you're in the local area, please do check that out. As a performer, I don't tend to like watching myself back on video. Uh, however, it is a source for uh, sort of self-development and you know, I can learn a lot from watching my performances back and you know, see what's good, what's not so good, and the, you know, performing at the Curious Camera gives me a, an opportunity to uh, you know, try out new things with uh, real people. And for you it's a chance to, to see me reading someone's mind and revealing their password. And as I said at the beginning, things aren't quite what they seem. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. So let's have a big round of applause, please, for the magic of Tina Dan. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Dean O'Dell and I'm sort of a magician. So I call myself a psychological illusionist. So rather than manipulating cards and coins, I tend to manipulate people, influence their thoughts and read their minds. You look slightly nervous now, don't worry. I'm not going to reveal your deepest, darkest secrets or in fact your internet history. I'm not gonna, <laughs> we're not going to go there. But we all do have a secret. A secret so secret that we keep it from our, our closest friends, our even our partners. You're looking really nervous now. <laughs> but, but what I'm talking about here is our, our passwords. Our, our lives are full of passwords for, for our banks, those websites. Um. <laughs> We're all predictable. We're all predictable. So even passwords, the most popular password is still password. So if I asked you to think of your password, I don't want people to go away thinking, oh, okay, everyone, everyone chooses that password. I don't want you to think that. So we're going to create, and have we got any sort of like uh, security experts in the room tonight? Anyone that works in security? IT? No? Good. Um, <laughs> a security expert once told me that the safest way to create a password was to uh, choose a random book off your shelf and flick to a, a page, remember the first word on that page, and combine that with the page number, and that creates a password that's unique to you. And that means I can't guess your password through, I don't know the name of maybe of your cat, or, or something like that. So that's what we're going to do, but before I begin this envelope, I'm going to give this to you, sir. So what's your name? Sam. Sam, Sam, you're going to keep hold of that for me, and please don't run off with it, because that is the sort of the finale. So <laughs> all rests on you. Uh, the other thing is, I'm going to throw this uh, paper ball out to someone completely at random, and that's not quite completely random. Um, I tell you what, would you throw it to someone else, and that's the person that we will use. Hello, sir. Hello. How are we doing? How was your name? Uh, Ali. Ali. Would you mind uh, sort of coming to give me a hand up here if everyone will give you a round of applause as you <laughs> <laughs> pop that on the table somewhere? <laughs> Ali, lovely to to meet you. We, we haven't pre-arranged anything. No, we've never met before. Never met you before. No, you look happy about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> don't mind. Uh, as I, said, I, I took the liberty of bringing a book with me here today, and uh, well, we're going to get you to create a sort of a random password. Okay. All I want you to do is just say stop anywhere you like. Stop. Are you happy there? Are you sure? What I'd like you to do is to look at the uh, first word on that page and remember the page number. Yep. Yeah, you've got that? Yep. Happy with that? Yep. And I ask you to just hold on to the book for me. Okay, so you have a word in mind. Okay, so words are made up of uh, vowels and consonants. I want you to think of a vowel somewhere in your word. Okay. Have you got one? Yep. Okay, just concentrate on that vowel for me. Okay, what was the vowel you were thinking of? E. <laughs> 25 more questions like this and then we'll mix them up a little bit. <laughs> okay, so uh, just think about how many letters are in this word. 
see a slight hesitation there tells me this is probably quite a long word. <laughs> maybe, maybe sort of eight or nine letters or even more. You're now trying to count on your fingers there, sorry, <laughs> secretly. <laughs> Okay, just uh, rather than think about the individual letters, think of this uh, word as a whole, sort of a shape. Okay, th actually, think about the first letter. Okay, what was the first letter? D. D. Oh. And the second letter was E, right? Yeah. That's fluke. Right. Uh, <laughs> okay, just think about the think about the word. Just keep saying it to yourself over and over again in your mind, but don't say anything out loud, because that makes my job really easy. I'm going to go with... Okay, did you get that? Can everyone see that? Yeah. For the first time, what was the word you were thinking of? Delighted. <laughs> <laughs> I've cracked your password now, so <laughs> sort of into the inner thoughts of your mind. But I've got, I've got to be honest now, this, this really wasn't about mind reading, this was about something else. Because before here, I sort of, uh, before you came up, I made a bit of a prediction about what the word I thought you would think of. I wrote it down on a piece of paper, and I screwed that piece of paper up. And in fact, we drew it around the room. <coughs> Would you like to uncrumple that piece of paper? You just hold that. And the word is delighted. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's more. Because not only did I write the word delighted on a piece of paper, scrumple it up, throw it out, and then reveal it here. If I told you you didn't even see the word delighted, that would freak you out, right? Because do you remember the page number? <laughs> yeah. Do you, would you just like to just because? Would you like to just turn to that page in the book? <laughs> Can you just explain what you're seeing there? The page two one two is missing. The page one two one two is missing, and then you see. Because, in fact, I tore it out. And I gave you an envelope at the beginning. Would you like to open that envelope? Oh, I reveal one thing. And that is page 212, and the first word on that page? Is delighted. Is delighted. And look, if we just take... Oh, look there, it matches perfectly. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed that and as always don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to press that subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you next week.